What is going on YouTube world? I'm your brother Reza and this is KRT Life, KRT Life with the Y. Like, subscribe, comment, and all those other things. And in today's vlog, I'm going to finally show y'all my uh, 1999 100 Series Land Cruiser Command Center slash Media Center, Navigation Center, whatever you want to call this thing. Coming up next. <laughs> All right, so this thing is finally in its most, I'll say, complete form. So backstory on this, Brother Mitch had a mount like this system similar in the awesome Forerunner that one day we're gonna get to in this channel. But when I used that mount in his Forerunner, I like really clearly realized how important having a good mounting system is in these type of tr vehicles, especially when you're driving off road, the suction cup mounts and stuff like that. They're cool, but they tend to fall and they tend to fall at the worst time. So I needed a solution and I wanted something that was going to be very robust and as clean and elegant as possible. So what did I do? I went to the interweb and I searched and searched and I Googled and Googled until I finally stumbled upon this company right here, which is bullet points mounting solutions now once again as all the videos in this uh on this youtube channel this is unsponsored paid for this with my own money don't know these people didn't even send them an email just saw the product looked at the reviews on their website and i decided to pull the trigger on it and the product that i got was their universal fit plate with uh two phone mount arms and it also came with a bottle opener, which was a nice little extra. But anyway, um, once I got it how I wanted it to be from the drop down um, on their website, it was uh, $128 for the configuration that I wanted from their website. And I ordered it, got it, and I was very impressed, like just first of all, with the build quality of everything before I installed it and the way that everything was packaged and came. It came with tools, it came with really good instructions, uh, it came with all the hardware that you need to install this thing. Didn't come with, doesn't come with all the tools, but it comes with some of the tools that you need to install this. And it was very, very simple and straightforward. I had to drill through my dashboard to mount this universal fit one, um, which was kind of like, oh my God, I'm about to drill into my dashboard. Never done that before, but it came out very clean and I'm very happy with this build and installation was actually very easy. It took me maybe about 30 minutes to install this thing. So how does it work? So what you got here is you have two clamps and I think I got the small size because I have the regular size iPhones and your phone basically just snaps into it just like that. And once it's in there, that thing is in there. Like the shaking and vibration and all that stuff is very, very minimal. If you want to adjust these clamps, the screws right here, you can adjust it this way, that way, do it like this. You can put your phone in landscape mode. You can put it in portrait mode. You can do a lot of stuff so there's a lot of room to move this how you want it to move and also on the back end over here it's also adjustable and uh yeah once you tighten these things down they are rock solid they don't move or wiggle or do anything crazy like that they work great apparently these arms are made out of uh carbon fiber and kevlar hopefully they never break because they're carbon fiber and kevlar um so we have two of the same arms but the interesting thing about this universal kit is that you can actually have three of these arms or you can have another mounting uh head right here actually so if you wanted to mount a gopro if you wanted to mount an ipad you could do that and i have saw I have, I have saw, I have seen pictures on their website where people did actually mount a GoPro or iPad right here. And it is a actually really cool um, look. Now, other thing is how does it hold up and how did I wire this? So what I did was I ran these cables back here. So this is how I set this up. So these cables are coming up through the bottom uh, den box. I don't know how to say it. My cables are running through this uh, bottom vacant spot that I had because this is a double den radio and this one is a single den, but it's built for a double den. And then they're coming, they're connect, one side is connected to the, uh, the USB port that is for a smartphone. And then the other side is USB and charging. So you can like play different media and stuff from a USB stick or whatever on this side. On this side, this works with phones and Androids and stuff like that. Um, ran it up, used some Velcro to connect to it right here and right here, as you can see. And then my actual radio face just slides into place like so. 
So it gives me a really pretty clean uh, setup and aesthetic. And then I use some Velcro pieces to hold the USB cables in place. Then I got a small little jumper piece like this, which connects back here and then goes like this into the bottom of my phone. And that is a very, very clean install to me. It's not the most aesthetically pretty thing, but it really, really serves a function and I really like it when I drive. So let me turn the car on real quick so y'all can see. All right, so now you can see all of my channels and all my applications and stuff that I have through Apple CarPlay with the radio. But this is so convenient because when my hands are in the driving position, I can just do like this. My, my line of sight is always up looking out. I can go through my phone, do what I need to do, close my phone, and get my, get my hand back on the steering wheel, just like that. Even with my hand on the steering wheel, I can still do stuff and tap my phone if need be and read my phone. And it's just so incredibly um, convenient having this thing. Like before, my phone would be sitting in the little like trays and it would just go flying whenever I would turn. And with this, it's just it just makes the dr experience of driving this car so much better. So I highly recommend this Universal Fit kit if you have an early series uh, Land Cruiser. If you have the later Land Cruiser with the updated front and the updated dash, I'm still working on a solution with that. That is not as straightforward. So I highly recommend this uh, bullet point mounting solutions kit for your Land Cruiser. Like. It has been like my favorite upgrade that I've done to this car so far after my wheels. And so the radio. So I, I'm, I guess y'all might be also wondering how I'm enjoying this radio. It's been a few months. It's been about, I think, six, seven, eight months, almost maybe a year since I've had this radio. No, can't be. It's been about six months since I had this radio. I love this radio. It is awesome and it works perfectly fine for everything I need. If you're a proper audiophile, it may not be the radio for you, but for me, it serves all of my purposes and it works excellent. And with this entire setup together, now when I pull up to a Range Rover or a brand new G-Wagon or whatever, and I look at them and their big screens and stuff, and I'm like, oh yeah, you got a big screen? I got a big screen too, but you know what I don't have? A car note. So I am your brother Reza. This is KRT Life, KRT Life with the Y. Like, subscribe, comment, and all that. And yeah, I this setup is epicness, so I highly recommend it. And uh, yeah, see y'all in the next vlog. Peace! <laughs> Oh, my God.